Well, sometimes as a footballer, you have to get used to playing in a downpour. That can be the case this evening. The rain has been lashing down. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to. It's Racing Club de Lens, and they face PSV. Well, I can't wait for this one, Derek. We've got a crackling atmosphere, two good teams, and a perfect pitch. Let's hope we get a top-class game. It should be. The starting lineup for Racing Club de Lens. Well, I like the look of their front three today. It has a combination of pace, skill, and intelligence. But will they get enough of the ball? Because their midfield could be overrun here. how the lineup looks for PSV well they're playing with a midfield diamond so key to their success will be the holding midfielder and the player in the number 10 position they really need to influence the game here today and they get the ball rolling in this Champions League group stage confrontation Now, what can they produce on the flank? But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent. So what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out of situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. They've got it now, what can they do? Getting forward. He's got to score! Can they stop it going in? Running room in the wide position. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Now, keeper in control. And taken short. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. Firing is in. Superb block. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And the counter looks on here. Options available. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Oh, great attacking play. And keeping it out.
keen to take it short here. Well, he took care of it defensively. A sloppy pass. Well, it could be on for him here. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. And short it is. Delivering it into the box. Struggling to get it away. Well, they can keep possession now. And a goal update to bring you from the Estadio Ramon Sanchez Pituan, Alex Scott. Yeah, it's a goal for Sevilla. It's now 1 0 with 25 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Maurice. Seco Fofana. Really good challenge. Can he find the right pass? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Making sure nothing untoward happened. And a chance for him on the flank. Can he put them ahead? Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. Delivering it. Well, a corner right on the back of the last one. Oh, good save. Excellent header. I'm trying to build a head of steam. Another corner it'll be. Who can he pick out? Oh, can you believe what we've just seen? I think we're going to be viewing that goal time and time again. Well, just look at this. Magnificent agility, perfect timing and great connection. What a goal that is. So underway again here, one nil to score. Seco Fofana, Kevin Danzel. Well, he's given us away. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Yes, again, just couldn't seem to maintain possession. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. The delivery. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, Torgan Azar caught the eye in the first half. How would you assess what he's put into the game, Stuart? Well, I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him. 
You'll have drilled it into them to keep their focus, keep playing through to the half-time whistle, and it's certainly put them in a good position to go on and win this now. And the second half of this Champions League group stage meeting is underway. And he did well to cut it out. Thomason. Seco Fofana. He'll take this on. It could be up for grabs. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Going well. Will they get themselves level here? And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Corner coming up. And they're making a change. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? And a short corner, let's see. Targets available, cross comes in. Well, full marks to him for that header, but the goalkeeper did his job. Not advantage with them, referee says play on. He could pick out a teammate. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Now can they counter clinically? Oh, good vision. He must finish! Oh, good work by the keeper. Well, no escape, not an immediate yellow card, but the referee deals with him now. Short corner taken. Great block. Well, something has changed in the game at the Ramon Sanchez beat one. Let's hear all about it from Alex. Yeah, it's a goal for Arsenal. The score's level again now at 1-1 with 64 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Extremely sloppy in possession. Can he find the right pass? And teammates to play it to. This might be ideal for the counter. And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. Frankowski. And space to exploit, maybe. Oh, managing to beat him. He's got to score! Oh, a terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? And with play stopped, they will make the change now. And he's fired over the corner. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Well, warned by the referee, but not cautioned. Well, he can't say he hasn't been warned now. That's good from the referee. Ten minutes to go, then. Azar, he read the situation defensively and did his job. 
Now in the dying embers of the game, it looks as though the visitors have done enough. Stuart, your assessment? Well, they need to hold on here. Not well, wait a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. And it's come off the keeper. Threat over for now, it seems. Luke de Jong. Delightful pass. Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. Chemiswa Frankowski. So two minutes of stoppage time here. And into an attacking position. It's not too late for them. There could be consequences given that the yellow card was handed out to him earlier. No card, but the referee clearly stating that's the last warning. Body in the way. And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top, Stuart. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. Well, quite rightly, our cameras remain affixed to Torgan Azar following his superb performance. And Stuart, we shouldn't really be surprised given his capabilities. Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.